Hi everyone, Leslie Ray here today uh, with a special bonus tutorial this week. Um, I want to share with you this fun project using and highlighting some of the wonderful papers that Wendy does for her digital designs. And so for this project today, you'll need some digital paper packs. I used, of course, the Tully Tartan, which is my all-time favorite right now. I also used the Magic and Sparkle pack, and I also used the Mistletoe Christmas pack, which is a new one that was released with this last set of digis. Um, I also used a fo folding tool, like a bone folder, uh, some clippies, and some glue, glitter and bling, and some string. Um, and let me show you what we're going to make. We're going to make these little origami stars, and aren't these great? Um, they take, I can print off one piece of paper, one eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, and cut it into three and a half by three and a half inch squares and make this fun, easy little ornament to hang up on your tree. And this one is used with one of the papers from the mistletoe collection, as is, or, and this one is using the paper from the Sparkle and Magic collection. And then I'm going to fold one today that's also from the Mistletoe collection. But I have one drying that I'll show you in a few minutes that are, is from the Tully Tarleton, Tartan collection. So, like I said, you're going to start by cutting your digital papers to three and a half inches square if you want a star that's the shape that mine is. And so these are the ones that I was playing with just to see what they would do different with the squares and the stripes and all that. So cut them that size. And then you're going to fold them into this shape. And that's what I want to show you how to do. You need five of this shape. I have three already pre-folded for us. And let me show you how simple this is to do. You take white side up. And with, with this pattern, um, it's, it's nice to have a white side and a pattern side. And then you fold it in half like a triangle. Open it back up, and now you're going to fold this corner into the center. So you go in like this, getting a nice point on the end here. And I'm kind of pulling my paper up a little bit to get that point a little pointier. And this is why I like to use a bone folder for this, so that I can get some nice sharp creases. And then fold this side in as well. And then you open him up, so you have like a kite shape, and then you open up your kite shape. And you fold down the middle. And these edges keep your middle from getting out of hand, okay? And now that once that you have it this shape, you take and you fold your edges down. to the center line so that you have him like this and then you fold it backwards so your inside is here you have this little bit of white that sticks out open it fold the tip of the white down to the tip here. And we're going to crease this and tuck it in. So this gets tucked in. Okay. Now it's kind of like a little house with a flap. You'll fold this up on this side. And then you'll come over here and fold this up on this side and then I like to come back and just crease this one more time to make sure I have this nice and triangular shaped. I'll have this little triangle shape going on and you open him up and stick your thumb in there line up the nose pieces here because he could make a little mouth like that, okay? Line up the nose pieces and crease. 
And that's all there is to that piece. And these pieces get glued together to make a star. Let me show you that one more time. Fold it into a triangle. Open him up. Fold this flap over to center. Fold this flap over to center. Open your flaps. Fold this down in the middle. And now, here's your center. Fold this flap down. If you don't have a bone folder, you could definitely use a um, like a popsicle stick as a bone folder. The side of your pencil would work also. Fold it in half so that your white is out over here. This is going to go into the center. You're going to fold this corner in right here. Fold this side in over here. And then open them up. And there you have it. That's your fifth one. Now, if you notice, on my ones that I shared, this one, I was careful except for when I got to the end and I had a piece showing. If you're mindful and you watch it all the way around, you get the folded part where the edges are so that you don't have that extra little white showing through here. And I'm going to show you how to take care of that and make sure of that. So when you're gluing, make this center white go to the inside. See there's a side that is got the paper folded and then there's a side that's white. Take the center white and make sure it's in the center. And I like to use these little glippies to help hold it together while it's gluing together at this stage. It just makes it smoother for me. And so I'm putting glue on this side and on this side. And when I glue these down I'm mindful that the white goes to the inside. So, and you saw me just flatten that one to make it easier to glue. And so I'm lining these up right here at this little nose. And I'm going to put a little clip. And these are itty bitty clips. I got these at the office supply store. And put that right there. And again, the white of this one is going to go to the inside with the rest of these. So I need to make sure, see this one needs to go here or here. I need to make sure I turn it the right direction to clippy him on. And again, lining up this edge, the outside edges are brown, the whites are in the center. Okay, now I'm going to glue another one on this side. And I'm gluing that center line and I think it just makes a neater ornament. Um, if you needed to, you could cover up the white with glitter and nobody would know. So here we go. Stick this in here. And then my last piece, I'm going to put, for good measure, a little bit of glue down in here. Glue this side. Glue this side and make sure I'm sticking the white side in. So here it goes in. Again with a little clippy and a little clippy. And I set this aside and let it dry so that um, it's good and dry before I do the next step. And 
just kind of reinforce on the back side. See, I did perfect. I got all of my edges, so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here and kind of smush this together and hold it for a minute. And then I could go ahead and do my glitter there, my white glitter or whatever color glitter you want, or you can leave it plain. You don't have to glitter yours. Um, I put some glitter on this. And yes, I just made a glitter mess. It's okay. I'll dump it on that. Now I'll set this aside and let him dry. Okay. Now to finish it, this one I've glued. I didn't glitter because I wanted you to see. This one, I accidentally, when I was doing it, I didn't turn these the right way. And so I have these two white things. And so you can see it's just not as pretty a finish as when you get it all right and get all of the colored ones on their edges. So this one I'll want to glitter all my edges. But here's taking off the clips. That's nice and glued on. Now I want to add a gem. I could add... Well, actually, before I add a gem, I want to punch a hole. Um, look at your star. Decide what you think is the top. At this point, I think this is going to be my top. And poke a hole. And I poke a hole about this far down. And I go ahead and run my pokey tool through it to make sure it's a nice, good hole. So that I'm ready to add a piece of string. And here I've just cut a length of hemp string that makes me happy and is going to go on my, my tree nicely. And it's easier to thread this back through the way. If you remember the way you poked your hole, it's easier to thread this back through the way instead of trying to fight your hole um, going back the other way. So there we go. And I just tied a simple little overhand knot right here and trimmed those strings. You could use a ribbon if you like. Um, my tree has a lot of natural things, so the hemp string looks good on my ornaments. And then pick your gem that you want to cover that hole. And so that was very, very simple. And then on the back, I will, like I said, instead of just glittering it tiny, I'll glitter the hiney and the legs so that I kind of cover up this white. Uh, you could go in with ink and ink it if you wanted. Um, you could mist it, obviously. Um, but I think doing glitter in the in the legs will be fun. So there's glitter. I'll come back with this piece of glitter paper that I just glittered. So all my friends with glitter phobia won't won't get all antsy with glitter everywhere. And then, there you go. Set him aside to dry and you'll see a picture of him at the end when he's all good and dry. But I love them. I love how they all turned out, how they all look different. And uh, using the digital papers just makes it perfect. So I can't wait to see this one when it's all finished. So I hope you enjoyed um, my quick and easy bonus tutorial focusing on how to make an origami star for your tree. Um, and I hope it inspires you to make several out of the beautiful papers from Libby Lou's Digital Delights collection of digital papers and digital paper packs. Have a happy holiday, and I will see you next week with my normal Tuesday tutorial. Thank you for stopping by. Have a lovely day.